Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing well. Tonight we got a VBR 300 light meter. This is uh, made by Vibira, I believe. Um, I was basically on Amazon and I just came, I was looking at light meters and I came across this. This is a new release. Uh, there wasn't much on it, but from what I gathered, uh, this is what I, exactly what I was looking for. Uh, it's a temperature meter, you guys. It's, it's real simple and um, uh, basically a five-year-old can hook it up. I'll show you guys this real quick. Um, I'll show you real quick on Amazon first. Let me show you that. All right. Uh, so it is it's 34 bucks. Um, honestly, you guys, I had this... Uh, this is it right here. You use the app, and this is basically your only page, right? You get your CCT, your Lux, and your um, your can uh, foot candle or the candle mode too, you guys. And um, they show this right here. I couldn't pull that up. I only I tested one light, actually two lights, you guys. This one above which is sitting at um, 4,000 Kelvin, says it right on the box. And here's another little, this shows all the way from 22 to 65, but it goes past that. There's only like five comments on it. Like I said, this is a new light, or a new uh, meter. There it is, that's named Vabria. And, um, it's pretty accurate. That's why I'm showing you guys. We're going to do another test. I got four flashlights here, some known brands. It says number one new release. I'm not sure how many they sold. Uh, one person didn't like it, but other than that, um, these are the same pictures we just looked at. But yeah, so 34 bucks. That's what I paid for it. I'll have a link, you guys. I'll link it. I got a, a affiliate with Amazon if you guys want to just check it out. But here it goes right here. I already took it out the box. I'll show you what it comes with too real quick. It did come with um, double A or triple A's, two of them. And it only takes one. It only uses one battery. So they give you an extra battery. I got my own batteries. And let me see. So it comes with something. I don't even know what this is. I know this has to do with photography a lot. It has a little... Um, but yeah, it comes with this little bag. I have no idea. You guys know what that is. Waterproof bag. Use oh, okay, so it's a waterproof bag. Okay, now I know what it is. I didn't read that at first. <laughs> so it comes with a waterproof bag. That's cool. You need that application. And here's a little. Um, it's not even instruction. It just shows you how to hook it up to the your and um, Android or Apple. And then, yeah, it's basically, it's basically that. All right, so now we're going to, um, we're going to get right into it. Actually, I'll show you guys too real quick. This is the first test, um, that it passed for me. I'm going to bring you right over here real quick. And also too, I wanted to show you guys this real quick. Excuse my mess. I got to do my spring cleaning early. But this is, uh, these are just some sample lights, my kids' lights, you guys. But I made a, basically, I don't even know what you want to call it, but where I can hold five, up to five flashlights. The only, um, weakness of this is this right here, because this is all plastic. And, uh, if you get some heavy lights on here, I'm not sure. But, you know, I got my, I can tilt it and all that. And for the most part, it's good. I got to do a little, um um touch up on it because some of these lights are kind of crooked so but yeah i wanted to show you guys that right there you see that brawn on let me see if i can get you guys in a little closer one more see th these are my overhead lights you guys seven thousand lumens four thousand cool white so that always had me stumped because let me put you guys back i'm sorry 
That always had me stumped. Because I was like, this is, um, it didn't seem like 4,000 Calvin to me, this setup, you guys. Um, with these lights, it, it's like a cool white. I was thinking 6,000 to 65, but this right here verified it. So basically what we're going to do here is it's real simple. You get the app first. Uh, let me grab the app. And it's right here. This is what it looks like. V sensor. You can scan it on that little paper they got, or you can um, uh, just punch it in. I just punched it in. I didn't even scan it. I just seen if it popped up, and it did. So you just do that. Now we got to oh, we gotta turn this on first. You just easy power button. I didn't even show you guys the battery. But yeah, just, just one single battery in there. And it lets you know when the battery's dead, this light will blink and all that. But yeah, we'll um, turn it on. And we got the green light. There's a little green light in the corner. It means it's on, so we'll scan. And this is like the third time I played with it. And then I think we're supposed to hit this. Yeah. All right. Still getting used to it. Then we hit the, oh, I'm sorry, let me show you guys. We hit the Lux. And bam, there we go right there. Like I said, this is supposed to be 4,000. And we're getting right around 4,000. So definitely um, pretty accurate. Uh, these lights are, if I bring it over, we can probably get the four like in the middle. So that was on the side of my lights, you guys. And look. So pretty accurate. I've been messing with it with some lights. What we're going to do is we're going to test. Um, I'm going to turn off all these lights and we're going to really test and see how it's going to move around. Because if I move my hand, it'll change it, you guys, over the lights. I need to put my light on longer. I don't know if you guys see that. But yeah, like I said, these lights are 4,000 and we're getting 4,000. So I got the Sofern IF-22. I didn't want the TIR TIR optic to interfere. So this is a SFT-40. So this is 65 Calvin, you guys. 6,000 to 65 Calvin. And then I got the Phoenix PDR-36. And this is a ST-40. And this is also 6,065 um, 6, Calvin. And then I got the Workos FC 1127K. I believe this is a Samsung LH 27K. And then uh, we got the Convoy S21E with uh, another SST40. And this is 5000K. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to turn off the lights. And I'm going to turn all these off, you guys. And then we'll measure the um we'll see how accurate this is from the known uh candela that we already know so i'm gonna put this in the middle and then uh well, i'll be right back i'm gonna come back everything will be turned off all right you guys all right see we got no lux we got nothing it's pretty dark in here so we'll start with the uh, um this is the Phoenix. So this is a SST40 with 6,065K, 6, you guys. So I think we're supposed to be about a foot away. That's the correct reading. I'm not 100% sure. I'm still learning this, you guys. So, oh, my bad. Here we go. I'm trying to hold this. Oops. Okay. And let's see what we get. So 6,000. And center it right. So yeah, pretty good. I think they. I'm not sure. I think they do say something. Like, I don't know. But yeah, this is what we're getting, you guys. It's around the six thousand Calvin. So pretty impressive. Nice. All right. Then we'll go with the Sofern. Uh, 
Oh, I have glasses. It might be too high for it. <laughs> it's too, yeah, you got to back it up a little. So this is, yeah, I think blast. Oh, you got to bring it to the, can't put that on high, you guys. Or turbo. That, that direct beam just blows it out. But we got 6,500 right there, you guys. 6,400. Now we're going to go with... Uh, the Wor the Workos SC11, you guys. Oh, that's... Right at 2700, hit 27. So it's saying 24, 25, almost 25. This thing is like, I gotta find the correct measurements too, you guys, on the distances, cause like I said, that so firm blew it out. But if you put it on high, you got the reading, which is cool. So I guess you just can't blow it out. So this is the convoy with the SST 40. And it's supposed to be 5,000 Kelvin, you guys. So let's see what we get. Ooh, that was Blew my eyes back right there. So yeah, we're right around it. Five thousand. And also too, I checked the lux, you guys. It was right on point with my other lux meter. I did both of them. I did it on an earlier test. And uh, it was uh right. They were like thirty within each other, right next to each other. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna pause it and we'll kind of wrap it up. Yeah, so um, I like it. It's it's accurate enough. I just gotta fi figure out the distances, which there's no man. I'm gonna look up more. Um, there's a use instruction video, but that's that video that's on there thing. I already seen that. It's like 40 seconds, I believe. Might have to double check. But it's it's pretty accurate, you guys. You've seen it. It's um, I, I think it's really accurate. And like I said, um, my overheads, they're four thousand k, and this was right on and right near it. Let me know, and I would argue and said these are brighter than four k. But yeah, the this right here proved it. Um, yeah, I'll definitely I'll have a link, you guys. You guys can check it out. I think it's worth it, 35 bucks. I know they got that other, um, that Opal one. And I think the Amazon one's like 45 bucks for it. But you can get it on AliExpress for 20 to 30 bucks, something like that. I was thinking about getting that, but I think I'm pretty happy with this one. I'll still mess around with it and try to, you know, dial it in more. But other than that, you guys, I definitely appreciate everybody for tuning in. God bless, and I'll see you on the next one.